blanks. Okay, so it gives us. It's up to me as reader to imagine. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't happen, this imagination, there is no exchange between me and the book. So the book is a half product. Also, it's a great book. It's a half product. Mm -hmm. It depends on the reader to finish it, to perfect, to, per to put a perfection in the book. Mm -hmm. so, um, because, because you're um, writing for more than just an Italian audience now, um, since your books are being translated into other languages, it, are there any steps that you've taken to kind of m make it easier for people outside of Italy to connect to it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the story is it's interesting for me as a reader again, if it speaks of something that I don't know, that I cannot uh, imagine before. Mm -hmm. I have to throw myself <coughs> in um, something strange and very peculiar, not typical, not, not characteristic, but very anu unusual. That's the, in this way, I learn something also uh, that I enjoy and I can enjoy. Next question. Leanna, vai. In the vida del narrator, the reflexo de la suba infancia? La, la historia? Oh, oh la vita. Mm -hmm. E la vita del narratore un reflexo de la sua infancia? Tu parli di Monte di Dio, vero, Leandro? Okay. Monte di Dio. Mm. Sì, si, sempre nelle mie storie. Always in my stories. There is a great part of the, of the story, the major part of the story taken by my own life and life of people around me that I knew. So uh, I do not invent stories. I make them uh, a second life. In the past, in stories that have happened, that have happened, I um, re writing, I make them, I offer them a second chance to live. You immortalize them through your writing. mortale. Vive. I do not invent character. I remember people. short. Uh, I can uh, concentrate uh, my, 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 my time in uh, less than an hour. I do not write an hour. Word. No, ce l'hanno in italiano. Vai, chiedi. Okay. In Italia si pratica ancora il dolce fa niente? E se si cosa significa oggi? Dolce fa niente. 
No, it's uh, in Italy, young people uh, are forced to stay out of the work market. <laughs> it's not a choice. Uh, it's, not a choice. <laughs> it's a dominant condition. Um, and that's why still now young people go Abroad. <laughs> but um, ancient people, retired people, they organized the Dolce Palmier. by by my by memory and by and by life 